Hey there, Craig from The Run Experience, and today we are reviewing running shorts. We have running shorts from every brand you've heard of, from brands you've never heard of, and these are all kind of like shorter type right racing shorts. There are so many types of shorts. We're gonna go into storage, we're gonna go into fit and finish, the way they look, some better than others. I'll tell you all about it. All right guys, first up here is the Saucony Endorphin Split. This is a 2.5 inch seam, which means this is a pretty high cut, as you can see here on me. This short is kind of like a race short, but it also does have a bunch of storage. So this pocket in the back is actually quite large. Now there are pluses and minuses to having a pocket that large. The pluses are you can take, I'm taking like what, three gels here, and I bet all three of these gels can fit in here. Whether or not you really need to run with three gels is up to you, but you could fit that in here, which is great storage. The thing I didn't like about that is because the storage pocket is so big, it's the only pocket on these shorts, and so when I just put my keys in it, it would sit kind of low on my butt. So that was not my favorite thing about these shorts, and they are a pretty really small seam. 2.5 inches is, this is like a track short. This is like a racing short. Um, not something that I would probably run in like my everyday long trail races in, or trail runs in, but uh, if I was racing, this is definitely an option. Next up is the New Balance Elite Split. Now, guys, the first thing you're gonna notice is this is a pretty audacious color. I rocked it. I was a little embarrassed, but I did it. And uh, they have them in black too, so it was sold out when, when we got these from Running Warehouse, um, so I tried these out. It's the same short, um, very, very, very high cut. This is a two inch inseam, so it's showing a lot of leg there. So if you really wanna show your stuff and strut your stuff, this is the short for you. Not, there's no storage here, there's a small internal pocket for your keys that is not, there's no actually top to it, so your keys just sit in there. It works just fine for me. Um, again, this is kind of a racing short, um, I probably wouldn't pick this color to race in, but it's an option if, if you're into the color and, uh, and you need a racing short that has absolutely no frills, this is a good short for you. These are the trail shorts from Rabbit, which is a company that we're just getting familiar with. Really cool company, we actually have a shirt from them. I wore these shorts, they call them the Trail Verts, uh, in a half marathon trail race that I, I ran with Nate, and I love them. When I don't have anything in the pockets, I really like these shorts. Now. They're about, I would say they're about a six inch inseam, maybe a little longer. So it's a, about a medium length short in terms of, of its fit. This pocket in the back, here's my complaint, it's really deep. It's, I, I stick my fingers in, I can get my, all three of my fingers in. What that translates into is a lot of storage. So I can drop these in here and I could put four or five of them in there if I really wanted to. It's on one side, so I don't, I don't really want to carry that much stuff there. What I really want here is just a pocket for my keys and maybe one gel. The problem with the pocket that's that deep is that it starts to sit really low. Like if you can feel, if you see where this is, it sits low in my, you know, along my butt. So what I didn't like about the pocket was that it was so deep it was, it was farther down. When I didn't have anything in the pockets, the short was perfect. I really liked the, the fit and material. The, Inseam length is perfect for me, so really like it as a as a trail short, as a as a training short. But I just don't like the pocket. This is the Salomon Trail Runner short. There's a six inch inseam. This is probably my favorite short of the bunch. The reason I like it is one, it's super light. This material is paper thin. Um, they have this kind of active dry technology. A lot of the shorts are made out of this like technical material these days. What I like about this short is one, Salomon has this nice way of 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 creating thick waistbands, which I feel really are, they feel good against my waist and, and are hugging me. Um, they have a pocket in the back and it's, it's not too deep of a pocket and it's not too, um, too big of a pocket, but it's perfect for a gel plus some keys. I really liked it. And that combined with the right inseam length, the right like, you know, general color, black, blue, it's always, always a good choice. I really like this short. This is definitely my favorite of the bunch. This is the Asics Everyday 5 inch. This is supposed to be just a regular everyday running short. I liked it just fine. Um, I liked, it, it, it's a pretty average running short. There's a five inch inseam. It doesn't have any pockets internal to it, but it has this one pocket on the side. Again, my main complaint or thing that I liked about a lot of these shorts is really how they situate the pockets. Not because you're carrying a lot of stuff with you, but if it's a pair of keys, if it's a gel, I think there should be options for both. Even for a road running short, I mean, for trail shorts, we all know there's pockets all over the place, but even for these road running shorts, it's really nice to be able to carry your keys very easily and then also carry something else to eat if you, if you really need to. In this case, there's one pocket that's 
I can put my whole hand in here. So this is almost like a pocket in your jeans. It's huge, which means you could carry as much stuff as you wanted, but it's only on one side. So if you're gonna pack that thing full, it's gonna be really riding pretty, um, pretty low. If you can see, I'm almost at the bottom of the inseam here. And then if it's just something small, like a, a pair of keys, then it moves around a lot and is a little bit low. So again, as a running short for just the pure running functionality of it, I love it. I like the look of it. The, the inseam is good. The cut is good. It fit well, but the pocket was just a little bit too large for what I liked. This is from Reebok. This is their Essential Short 7-inch inseam. This is a bit of a longer short, and the really distinctive factor here is that they have, instead of a liner that is more like a, like a Speedo swimsuit, uh, they have a longer liner, kind of like these bike short liners. Now, there are pluses and minuses to that. I mean, if it's a cold day, having that extra liner is great, and if you're doing like other work that is maybe in the gym and stuff, uh, I think having these liners is great. I am not a huge fan of them as a general running short, so I would probably choose to have a, a shorter, like more of a bikini cut liner inside my shorts, mostly because they can get kind of just damp and wet in, on hot days and, and they're just not that comfortable if you're sweating them. This doesn't have a whole lot of storage. It has only a key pocket internal to it, so it is fine for just everyday run or everyday workout, but it's not something you take on a race where you need to like store goo or any other type of, of food. All right, now finally, let's talk about price because this is where the rubber hits the road because you all know that you need multiple, multiple pairs of shorts. I don't know how many pairs of shorts I have, but you need new pairs every day, so price is an important factor. With this Saucony Endorphin Split, this goes for 45 bucks, but you can find it for 31 online at, uh, at the Running Warehouse. Pretty decent price. There's a large fluctuation on prices here. Um, this was the shorter one. It had, it had a two and a half inch inseam. Now, New Balance, this was the two inch one that was a really, really uh, light racing short. This goes for 90, um, but you can find it for 62 on at the Running Warehouse. So it's a $60 pair of shorts. This is actually the most expensive pair, but um, yeah, and the most flair. Let's see, this is the Rabbit pair. The Rabbit pair is 52 bucks. Um, again, there are a lot of things I liked about Rabbit, especially I tried out their shirt, which I really liked as well. Rabbit's a great company, um, 52 bucks, kind of in the middle of the road, a little bit on the higher end, but, uh, but yeah, a good good short, $52 right in the middle of the road. This was the winner of the group, and you'll be very happy to know, this is came in at 42 bucks. So this was actually the one of the cheaper uh, pairs of shorts, 42 bucks for the Salomon Trail Runner short. Yeah, I really like this one, had the pocket in the back. A6, this is the everyday five inch. This came in, let's see, $33, $40, um, $40 MSRP, but $33 online at the Running Warehouse. And then finally, Reebok, you can find this one on the Reebok site, this is $35. So you can see that all the shorts are kind of moving between like the $30 and $60 price range. You know, if you're gonna have to have a lot of pairs of shorts, go for, I would say go for the stuff on the cheaper end. It does not necessarily equate with quality. I like some shorts that were the cheaper ones and I, and I didn't like ones that were the, uh, the more expensive ones. So on the price, you know, just go for what you like and then and choose towards the, the lower end of, the, of that spectrum if, if I was you. All right guys, I've tried out all the shorts, I have run lots of miles, and I've given you all my thoughts on it. There is just huge variance on fit. You know, I didn't go into specifically, we have the videos so you can see how they fit me, but fit is such a subjective thing depending on your body size and your fit and the, and the size of short that you like. So you definitely try it out from that perspective, but the, the storage and like the, the material and that sort of thing is something that we universally have to really assess when we're buying a pair of shorts, so I wanna tell you about that. now. We are gonna come out with lots more reviews. If you liked this one, or if there are other pairs of shorts you're thinking about, you wanna let us know, we can check those out as well and do it in our next round of short reviews. Let us know, hit us up in the comment section. We'd like to respond to you and make it a conversation. Of course, hit the like button if you like this review, let me know, and then subscribe to our channel because we have videos coming out each and every week on training, on you know reviews, gear reviews, uh, shoe reviews. We have so many things coming at you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.